So what's going on guys today we are going to see a crash course on fine tuning and AI. So this is a complete beginners course. If you don't know anything about AI, any keywords about AI or what fine tuning is, you can watch this video and you can get knowledge about building or fine tuning your own AI and then publishing it and using it in your own websites. So let's get started. So first thing you want to know before going into fine tuning is machine learning. So machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. So take machine learning as a human. It thinks like a human or when we actually code a logic in Python or any other language, we hard code the text, right? But machine learning is not like that. It learns from patterns, thinks like a human and do amazing stuff. It has various techniques like supervised learning, unsupervised learning and reinforcement learning. You can learn this later. So the next thing you want to know is what an AI model is. AI model or pre-timed model is trained on a vast data set. So it is trained on a vast data set and takes the knowledge from it. Uh, it's same as a large language model. So a pre-timed model is called a large language model. So large language model include GPT-3, GPT-4 or any model that you can think of right now. So what is fine tuning? Fine tuning is a machine learning tool that adjusts the pre-timed model to expand the knowledge further. For example, if a, if ChatGPT is only trained on conversation, con conversation with humans and does not know how to code, we are going to fine tune GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 and we are going to fine tune it with a data set of coding stuffs. So it can understand from the data set and further be fine tuned and give amazing, amazing or specialized in a specific skill. So that's fine tuning. So let's see a comparison between open source and closed source AI. Open source AI's code must be publicly available and it's easy for us to collaboration and it includes transparency and the whole community of AI comes to develop it and deploy it. So open source AI's give a more versatility when it comes to fine tuning. So also you can fine tune closed source AI but it's more costly. The API is costly and it's a big pain. So it's better to use open source AI for fine tuning. So where to get these open source AIs and the data set to start training. So you can use something called as Hugging Face Hub which provides many open source AI models and data sets for fine tuning our model. So for fine tuning we need the processing power. So a processing power com comes from something called as GPU, Graphical Processing Unit. It's what most of the companies use to pre-train the model or fine tune the model. So if you have a low level potato computer or not a powerful computer or a GPU, no problem because Google Colab, a service from Google helps us by giving a free NVIDIA Tesla T4 GPU. So as mentioned earlier, we are going to use something called as Hugging Face Hub for to select our models and dataset. So first sign up or login into your Hugging Face account and go to the models tab right here. And you can see right here, there are these many models right here. But these are many capabilities like image to text model, text to image model, text to text model, text generation model, and many, many more. But what we want today is a text generation model. So let's filter upon that. And you can select any, I mean, you can select any number of models that you get when you filter it. So these are the many models that you can use. But today, we are going to use a model called as Gemma. 2 billion instruction fine tune model which is released by google by the way instruction fine tune means fine tuning based on instruction so it makes the llm follow or the instruction that we give so we are going to use this model just click on it to open the model card so here the model properties and stuffs are given you can just go through it and so the next step is to select the data set so in the hacking face up go to the data set tab right here once all the datasets are loaded, you can search for a specific datasets or sort by the use case. So today I am going to use a code, a code instruction dataset because I am going to fine tune the Gemma model that we selected before and we are going to fine tune it to write amazing code for us. So let's select the appropriate dataset. So today we are going to use this from Token Blender. So let's open it to see the details. You can see that the data is arranged in instruction, output and text. 
So instruction is the input that we give and output is the output that we get. You can create similar data set on your own if you want to. So now let's get into the interesting part using this in Google Collab Notebook. So before that, I would like to thank this guy called as Aditya SK. He's an amazing guy who put together this amazing Google Collab Notebook that makes fine tuning much easier. So a special thanks to him. So three. Th so what is Google Collab? Google Collab is like an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. So it's an IDE hosted on the servers of Google. So what we can do in this IDE is we can use the GPU provided by Google and we can execute code. That is the code we want to fine tune this LLM for this. So first you need to go into the runtime, change runtime type and you can select on the T4 GPU which is the free GPU that the Google Collab provides. So let's connect to the T4 GPU. So the, by the way, this Google Collab link is available in the description. You can just open it and do the following steps. So once the GPU runtime is connected, you can scroll down right here and start running the code. For the purpose of this video, I have already run through all the cells so to make this video short. So what you have to do is for each cell, you have to click this. So the first cell is for seeing what the GPU we have. So we are having a Tesla D4 GPU by Google. Next, we are going to download the required Python libraries. And then we are going to set up bits and bytes, which quantizes our model and making makes loading easier. And then we are going to log in into our hugging face up. So to log in here, you need to have a hugging face token. So if you run this cell, you will get something like this. So to get the token, go to hf.co slash settings slash token or go to hugging face, click on the profile photo, click on settings and you will and click on the access token button right here. So here you can create a new token, name it and make sure you put the rule to write. So you can create a new token and then copy it right here and paste it inside the token text box and then click on login. So this is how you have to log in into your hugging face model. We are logging into our hugging face account because we need to push our model, that is push our find your model to hugging face in order to use it in our own website. So next, you have to run this block to download the model. So as mentioned earlier, we are going to use this model Gemma 2 billion instruct fine tune. So just you have to click on the copy button right here and paste the model name. So the next step is to just check if the model is loaded correctly and by giving a prompt. So we are going to ask it to generate a Fibonacci series. So if you run this and run this, which tells the model to code a Fibonacci series, it will code so. So we are going to, what why we are fine tuning is to improve this output. So let's start fine tuning. So next is loading the data set. So as, so as mentioned earlier, we are going to use the data set by Token Blender, which is a code instruction data set in Alpaca style. So we, you need to copy this code also, and then you need to paste the name right here. So the next step is to print the first 10 rows of the data set to make sure that the data set is correctly loaded. loaded. And then we have to format the data set so that the Google's Gemma can understand it. So we are you use this prompt to just do that. And then you are going to do some data set thing and we have to split the data set into train, training set and testing set so that we can test it later. So we are going to use 90% of the data set for training and 10% for testing. And then we are going to print the data, test data so that uh, we can make sure that everything works correctly. And then we are going to finally apply the ROA. So we are going to use the PEFT model and then we are going to just make sure that it's correctly done and we are going to do some quantiz quantization stuff right here just you need to do is just run the each cell okay just run these okay you can click on the these buttons one by one to do this so let's run the training right now so what you need to do is you need to change this max steps so max steps denotes how many times the LLM have to learn or how many times it have to go through the data sets so you can set it to anything you want today I am setting it to 10 for the video purpose so the next is starting training and it will start training. So in each steps, we are given 10 steps, so it came 10. So in each steps, it will reduce the training loss. So that's what we need. So see here, 3.2 to 1.7. So it, it should happen like that. So more so more the steps, less the training loss and more perfect the fine tune model. So that's what you have to see. And then we are going to upload this model to your Hugging Face Hub. So you can run on these cells to do so. And then finally, we are going to test our fine tuned model by again asking to code a Fibonacci series and we get a result. So how to assess this fine-tuned model? So if you go into your profile, you should see the model right here. So this is the name that we provided in our Google Collab Notebook and it came right. So let's click on it. 
So as you can see, here is the model that we just trained. You can use this anywhere you want using transformer library and you can also load it again in the Google Colab and use it or you can use the deploy button to deploy into inference API or something like that. So this is how you can find you a model and you can do amazing stuff. Also, you can also use the imply, test the inference API right here pretty quickly. So, so this is it. This is how you can find you your own AI model. So if you need more videos just like this, support me by clicking on the subscribe button.